Hi, my name's Martin Lynch. I'm the owner of uh, Martin Lynch & Sons Limited. And I've got a set of questions that have been presented to me that um, uh, were listed on Facebook that you'd probably like to hear the answers to. First, what's a store called? The new store, Wessex House, located in Drake Avenue. Nothing to do with the old radio manufacturer from the States, but it's a way of remembering it. And that's located in Staines-upon-Thames in uh, Middlesex, about 10 minutes from Heathrow Airport uh, and a short drive out from London. Um, reasons for moving to the new shop? Well, basically, we completely outgrew the old one. We were there for 10 years, and I'm sure many customers remember um, chipping over all the stock in the middle of the shop floor, which was meant to be the showroom. And when we finally started stacking stock in the loos, we really did realise that we needed to move. What can customers expect from visit, visiting Wessex House? Um, well, a lot more room for a start off. Um, the showroom is nearly four times the size. And in fact, the overall building is more than twice the size of um, Outline House in Chertsey. So there's a lot more room for everybody, um, a lot more on display. Uh, we're using the same racking that we used to use um, at the old premises for the main equipment. Everything's wired up and working this time um, and a lot more room to move around and you're not tripping over anything in the new shop. One of the questions I was asked was could we turn upstairs into a radio shack as a service as subscribers can come in and operate? Um, especially useful for hams that live in a shoebox in London with no antennas etc. Um, it's a great idea and in fact when we first moved here I wondered how on earth we were going to fill upstairs. We've got 3,000 square foot of space um, bar a very large workshop, which we didn't have in the old premises, we had a small one. We've got uh, a workshop that's at least four times the size. Um, we're soon filling up the space. However, there is room for a training school that we hope to introduce uh, during 2015. Uh, and um, there may be a demo station, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we've got so many, uh, such a huge range of equipment on demo downstairs, but I understand the, uh, the question about a dedicated uh, radio station for use. In fact, another one, uh, another question was, we have internet cafes in the UK, as we have all around the world, what about a radio ham one? Uh, and that's actually a ham radio one. That's a very good idea. Um, see a, a line of um, uh, uh, stations where you put a pound in the slot uh, and use. Interesting idea, and I'll certainly take a, a note of that one. Um, the decision to start stocking DJI drones and seeing if we're going to move into that market. Um, yes, we uh, do still stock DJI uh, and other uh, drone products. It'll never take over from ham radio because I always wanted this to be a, a dedicated ham radio store. Um, so you will see DJI in the background, but it certainly won't play a prominent part. Another question, in-house training uh, for all levels of licences. I've already addressed that one and hope to move forward on that subject during 2015. Um, looking at sales figures, would I say the hobby is still thriving? Uh, well, it's certainly still thriving at Martin Lynch and Sons, and I think generally the rest of the trade in the UK are happy with the level of business. Obviously, it dipped massively. Um, when uh, the recession came uh, but in the last uh, couple of years we've definitely seen an upturn uh, in the business as I think most retailers good retailers have uh, a bad, bad ones in any market have fallen by the wayside um, and it just makes the ones remaining that are possibly doing the, the job properly even stronger my favorite cheese that's a strange thing to ask um, I haven't really got one like good old English strong mature cheddar but I um, quite like other cheeses as well. Um, a bow fang is going to kill the hobby. Um, not really, no. That's all I'll say on that subject. Um, how would Martin run the RSGB? Uh, not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with it at the moment, just to be interested in his views. I think the, the RSGB do an excellent job uh, under difficult circumstances. Um, they've changed a lot over the last five years with change in management, change in location and everything else, but we totally and utterly support them for good or bad. Uh, and my working relationship with them is good, always has been, and will always promote them. I think if you're in amateur radio, you should always support um, the, the RSGB.
Some of you will disapprove, but uh, I think the bulk of us agree we need uh, a body in this country to um, promote and um, look after our, our brilliant hobby. So without them, I think he'd be in a lot worse state. What's his favourite amateur radio blog YouTuber? I think anybody that actually presents um, new products and new antenna installations, uh, contest stations, I love looking at them. They really are great fun and the amount of effort even from a one or two man band um, into multi-station or multi-operator uh, DX stations is it's just a, another great part of our hobby. So I haven't really got a favourite one. Um, what's the strangest customer experience? Um, bet there's a book in there. Well, actually there is, and I won't set about writing it until I retire. So you so you're going to have to wait a long time. Uh, I could tell you the most hilarious stories of of customers and in fact non-customers that have wandered into all my stores uh, since 1990 um, but I won't I'll leave that for another video but I've got some very very really hilarious stories which unfortunately my staff have had to listen to me repeat the same very amusing ones over the years why did Martin bypass the UK distributor of Yezu, i.e. Yezu UK, and go direct to Yezu Japan? Uh, I didn't actually bypass them. Um, I was approached by Yezu Japan uh, to distribute uh, Yezu product in this country. Uh, we were very proud to uh, get that accolade of being the only dealer to be directly associated with Yezu Muzen uh, in Japan. Um, we've still got a good working relationship with Yezu UK, uh, but we're just two separate companies as we always have been. But instead of me placing orders, I now and have for over the last year and a half uh, gone direct to the factory, probably because of the very large numbers that we import and bring into this country. What do I think is the way forward for amateur radio in, this UK, in the UK, and how would I attract new um, newcomers to the hobby? Really just keeping the hobby fresh, have magazines uh, reporting on uh, more modern aspects of the hobby uh, rather than harping back to um, 1930s and 1940s R1155s and R88s. That's where I cut my teeth, but I really don't think um, a youngster, or even not a youngster, uh, really wants to read about bits and pieces like that that were very important in our day they're certainly not now so it's really just to try to keep it interesting and be out there looking for news rather than hoping it um it may be sent to you or you might read about it on some other blog um so not, not an easy one it's always been an older person's hobby um i think uh, i'm still involved in the hobby not in a, as a profession but as a radio amateur because i love radio as a method of communication uh, many years ago you didn't have what we've got now and it's that much more difficult to, to get newcomers in of course. Uh, brown or red sauce and bacon rolls, brown every time. There are rumours that Ali G will be cutting the ribbon at the grand opening. Well he is of course from Staines. Um, I don't know whether he's busy or I think he was last seen repairing his full Cortina. Uh, live 1,000 year life or 10 100 year lives? I've no idea. Um, you're on a desert island with a beautiful man or woman. Would you rather they were top half fish or bottom half fish? Um, bottom half fish, I guess. Um, never use the internet or never watch TV? Never watch TV. The amount of rubbish that's on television. Uh, and own a giant hamster or a tiny rhino. Uh, definitely a tiny rhino. I think that'd be a lot, lot more fun. Um, and finally, a movie star or singer? Well, I can't sing, and I certainly am no use whatsoever in front of a camera, so I'll, I'll leave that uh, for, for you to decide that one. Thanks for watching. I hope you're going to enjoy the video that's accompanying this little talk, and thank you to my staff and indeed um, my younger son, Henry, who's involved in media, and that's why he's taking this at this very moment in time. So, so hopefully see you in the shop, because we're always here. Come and say hello. Open six days a week. You don't need appointments. Just pop in. See you.